Hi guys, Chris again, and on this video I wanted to talk about something more hardware related. So, um, something I have been noticing is that there seems to be a lot of people, and I hope it's not most of my subscribers, but it seems to be that a lot of people associate the number of cores that the CPU has with the gaming performance of a CPU. Now, to a certain point, that's, you know, that's true. but we are way past that point today. Uh, your, your average eight core processor today is more than sufficient enough to max out almost everything that you can throw at it. You're to the point now where you are better off going from, a fa from an eight core to a faster eight core than from an eight core to a 16 core for gaming. Now, for your production stuff, if you're looking to do video editing, things like that, um, you know, some sort of 3D modeling, that kind of thing, you're looking, well, you're looking at a, maybe even a different type of chip than, than gaming. But I see this a lot with X99 and X299. So the fastest chips, I'm sorry, not the fastest, the highest core count chips for X99, I think go up to like 18 cores because the X99 was crossover. You could use Xeon or, uh, or, Core i chips, so i i7. Uh, I guess they only had i7. They didn't have i3 or i5 or i9 at that point. But, um, and I see a lot of people thinking I'm going to go buy the fastest chip I can for X99, and they think that that fastest chip that they can buy is the uh, like the 18 core chip. And it's the same thing with the X299 platform. So the X299 platform, I believe the fastest chip is again, either 18 or 22 cores, and it's the same thing. It's 18 or 22 really, really, really slow cores, okay? So you're better off, for gaming purposes, you are better off with an eight core with as fast of a clock speed as you can get. Now, I know somebody is gonna tell me about this one niche game or this niche kind of game. Look, Ashes of the Singularity, maybe, I'll give you, but generally speaking, Normie games, AAA titles, you know, uh, um, uh, esports games, those kind of games are not going to benefit from more cores over faster cores. Anyway, I hope you guys find this interesting and thanks for watching.